those, those are considered what? Bad, bad things, bad times. That's synonymous with what? With nightmares. What do nightmares take, take place? Are you guys a part of the culture that is really from Mexico? Is that weird? What do you mean the Bible? Like, is that the Bible? Yeah, the Bible. Hi, I'm Jewish. So, nice to see you guys. Yeah, so we come out and we need the Bible. Oh, you're, you're Native American? Yeah. yeah, my grandma's Native American. Yeah, I'm not. So, Native American Indians. Your dad a Native American Indian? Both of them. So, you're Indian. Like no, you're, I'm like you're Native. Indian. Yeah. You're Indian. Yeah. Yeah. You're Indian. You're not, you're not Jewish. You're supposed to be Jewish. It's not. No, I had to convert. I was, I was converted. Alright. So, the, what we come out and teach, we tell the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, they are the actual 12 tribes of Israel. That's how you got here. Our people got to America because they sell from Israel. Yep. Just yep. like when we the Negroes, right? Which I actually am, my father's a Negro. But just like us, how we bought the other ships. We bought us for the West Africa. But we not from West Africa. They found us from West Africa. We fled into West Africa and then the persecution that took place in 70 AD in Jerusalem. Oh, you guys like first the neighbors you know, okay. Allowed to be 
talk to us because we disobey God's commandments. That's a curse that's put around us. This is simply how we know we're not these people. Because these are the only people that fit these particular curses that were saying to the fallen Israelites that they disobeyed God's commandments. One of them being being called out your name, five words and stuff, right? Yeah. Look what happened to your people. You were raped, uh, raped, pillaged, and murdered. Nothing is ever recompensed. All the trees given to you broken. And the same person that did it oppressed the other people. And nothing has been recompensed. We was found as 40 acres in the wheel. Nothing. And now today, what they want you to do? They want you out there with a mask on. They want to get rid of us. But my point more so, I'm just giving you information you can think about. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm listening. we're not from Africa, like I told you. We have. So this Ham. So Ham is what? Ham? Ham, it says the youngest son of Noah. So he's one of the three sons of Noah. This from the Zion of the Hypat Bible Dictionary. That's what's all right. I'm not a bias. It says the youngest son of Noah. Born probably about 96 years before the flood. Yep. And one of the persons to live through the flood. Yep. He destroyed by water. It says he became the progenitor of the dark races. These two people said the Bible flood the way how pretty much every those three men who we talk to all the people. Everybody on earth was the one who said he became the progenitor of the dark races. brothers left. We come from Shem. But the whole anti-Semitism, that's a play to keep us from who we are. I can't be an, I can't be anti-Semite if I am a Semite. Me and Shem. It's a lie. The Jewish people stole the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians true identity to keep it to themselves. Because that very identity is, is, is the identity you need to basically run the world. Because it's basically the, the identity of being God's people, the blessing. People are okay with us being power and getting the truth. That whole idea. But that's our blood. To be a Jew is not a religion. The word Jew. That's my tribe. I'm a so-called Christ, Christ, he's from the tribe. Who's the seven Christ comes that's why when you read about how he looks, he has white blue hair and dark grass skin. So dark that it's been burnt in the furnace. So he's a very dark skinned man with white blue hair. Look at that. God also took the picture of the Bible. Daniel, Daniel the prophecy of God. He has pure white blue hair. He has blue hair. I'm Like 
all of the pieces that they give you on how Christ looked in the Bible that you can read. More so than Mel Gibson and Passion of Christ. That's blasphemous. This is Revelation chapter 1 and verse 13. It says, in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Yeah, I started verse 11. It says, I started 1, Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 10. Yeah, oh yeah, what do you want? It says, Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1, it says, the revelation of Jesus Christ. What is Revelation? It says, I was in the school of the Lord's name, and heard behind me a great voice as a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and last, but thou seest right in the book. And send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatria, unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. So this is what you told John. Take what you see, write in the book, and send it to the seven groups of the of our people that follow me. So all of the Lord's people didn't follow me, right? Yeah. And I turned to see the voice. This, that's, that's how Christianity started. It didn't start with the whole world following him. Christ never came to everybody. He came to his people first, right? And we can prove that. Go ahead. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. All right, so John was getting the vision. Go ahead. And he heard the voice behind him. And he, you know, turned around to see one that looked like the Son of Man. The yeah. Son of Man being, you know, who the one called Jesus. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, speak on the, yeah, that's it. it says, clothed with a garment down to the foot. Yeah. A long, groaning girdle. That's why we wear these. Ours not as long as his would be, right? Or it said to be when he seen it. Go ahead. All right. It says, clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the patch with a golden girdle. Oh, remember, he's writing what he's seen. Like he told him. Right? He had a golden girdle around this little girl. See? So that's Check, check. Right? Ahead. His head and his hairs. Uh, his head and his hairs. The head on your head going to your beard. Like that, brother. You see what I'm saying? And then you got hair on your face. So his head and his hair. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White woolly hair. As white as snow. Right? Don't and his hair look like lamb, sheep hair? Right? Don't his hair like sheep hair? Sheep hair? But it's white. It's white as snow. That's his. That's what I'm saying. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. And his feet. His feet unto so like in his feet like unto fine brass. And what color is brass? Brown. And his feet uh, like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So not only were they brass, but they look dark burnt. So he's a very dark skinned man. That's what you think. It's this. And it's another image that Daniel seen regarding him to where it gives you the, the look of the clothing. He had a, he had a barrel colored garment on. His arms were shut up, his shoulder, like this. And his sleeves was cut out. And he said his arms are in color, like into grass. So that's how we got this depicted. I'm not saying it's no, but it gives an illustration of what the Bible depicts in the book of Yeah, this is on Daniel chapter 10 and verse 6. His body also. Okay, yeah, it says his body also is like the barrel. And his face has the appearance of lightning. Barrel is green. That's why we got this color. And his eyes like a lamp of fire. Same person. Same person. Come on. And his arms and his feet like. And his arms and his feet. People don't know about this. A lot of people know about the revelation. Right? They don't know about this one. Go ahead. And his arms and his feet like in color. Like they used to call us back in the, in the segregation times. Color people. Like they call us today. Color. Yeah. Like in color to polished brass. Brown. And we already read how it's dark brown. Burnt. So we're not out here pushing color and hate. No, no. We out here telling you the truth. So-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians are the people in the Bible. You're not black. That was a lie. Your parents are black. You're lying to me. You know, I'm personally pretty good. I'm 
physical appearance. That's true. Flex is all spirit, energy. What are you? Like First I, and foremost. I feel like I, I got energy. You are spirit in a body. Right. Uh, That's why we it's, have body. It's a word for it. I don't know the right word. Um, it's a word for it. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like you have some physical appearance. Also, get me since he said, give me John 4 God got a body. That's why you got a body. You was made in his I feel energy. like, like I say, I feel like uh, it's, I, it's, a, it's a certain word they use for. I feel like that wasn't his body. He was just in that body to perform right. what he's supposed That's to perform. Right. Now, if he, now, now, we know if he comes in the body, what body he's gonna be in. See? That's why we're the gods on the earth. So, proving the point. That's true. God is a spirit person. The Bible tells you, right? Right. The angels when they come down to earth. They, they'll, they'll come over the earth with regular people. The Bible tell you don't be forbidden to entertain strangers because some have entertained strangers unaware. So they, the bodies is what the Lord will create to use. Just like in order for us to get out, come out, come out, be out here giving out the message to people, we have to be in the body. But it's a spiritual message from the heavens. Right. Uh, we didn't send ourselves out here. It's cold. Right. We don't get paid to do this. We don't ask for money. Right. See, but the Lord will create the body for us to be able to Like how you, just how you would get everywhere and handle your business. Like as far as running errands, you would need a car or transportation to do that. What the vehicle is, for us handling, for people, a person handling their business and their everyday affairs, that's what the body is for us. Yeah. Is that something? So well, God is a spirit. Right? But if you come with a body, you so-called black man. Period. He's colored. He's so-called black, Latino, Native American Indian. That's what he is. Saint, Saint John chapter four twenty four says, "God, God is a spirit." That's true. And they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. See, if you, if you worship Him, you gotta worship Him in spirit and in truth. Now the truth is, He is a spirit, but He truly has a body too. Want to hear how God looked? Give me Daniel seven and uh, eight, because that was talking about His Son. Well, what what about Him? This is Daniel chapter 7 and verse 8. It says, I considered the horns. So like verse 9, it says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. The ancient of days did sit. You can't sit if you don't have a body. The ancient of days did sit. Who's the ancient of days? That's God. He has no ending or beginning. See, that's what talking about God. We call it God. His name is Yahweh. He got a name too. His name is our God. He got a title. Okay? And the ancient of days did sit whose what? garment was white as snow, See? and the hairs of his head like a pure wool. How can you be clothed without a body? And he said, what? The hairs of his head like you have hair without a head. He says his robe was like a fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Right. And the hair of his head like a pure wool. Once again, a woman. Now Christ, when he came, he said, he that sees me have seen the Father. That's true, so that link up. Because it just said that God was depicted to sound like God right here, got white woolly white hair. Well, when Christ came, he's a spin image of the Father. But it say Christ's image is a so-called black man. Don't God being black make sense? So-called black? Yes. We dominate everything, even though we're at the bottom. That's why I was sitting here before y'all asked questions, saying how this is all an illusion. This is not real. Oh, I know that. This, this is this life as we know it. Yeah, it's a nightmare. For sure. The Bible wants to know life as it truly is, not as how we have known. That's an issue that I, God I, has. I, I feel her. like, I feel and like, 
You're not um, Jewish. You can't convert to somebody who you already are. They took all of this, they took our culture, our heritage, our heritage, and they plagiarized it and turned it into Christianity, Judaism. All of that's the same thing. It's plagiarizing the heritage of the Israelites. The real followers of Christ are those that, so-called Christ, are the ones that actually deal with this Bible. But the real ones that he came to was only the Hebrew Israelites. We out here to tell people, the Lord not coming back for everybody. That's what the Bible says, he's coming back for his people. His people don't know that his people. They think they black and Mexican and red. They think they're copper people, color people, Indian. Indian means savage. It's lies, man. We're not here to be security guards. None of this stuff. No, That's not our also, limitation. I, I also feel like, okay, we're not here to live life that we are living, but True. since we are here, we it's certain it's certain ways we go about living. That's right. That's you know what I'm saying? Right. And we have it's, it's we like have it's, to. it's a mean. Right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And I, like I say, and I feel like he part way like God you through that if you're doing it the right way. That's true. Just like we work jobs, got yeah. families, yeah. but we know that's not the truth. Yeah. All this about the end. Real reality is coming. That's what's happening to America. The mask people wear, that ain't never been reality. You gotta get five shots. That's not reality, man. The earth. Y'all could be agents. I'm gonna just keep it real. It's agents that set up that know about the men that teach this. Cause this is like a, um, if you will, this is a wage of war against the, 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 the social construct that is right now. Which is everybody stands sleep and following along with the program and pretty much going into their own death. We out here, through the mercy of the Lord, trying to stop his people from going through that. The people that's, the powers that be, we know that. And that, we're in a time now where they're about to try to stop this. Because the most powerful thing is this book. I don't know if you could tell me exactly what script this is, but... He, I think someone was talking, someone was talking amongst Jesus, uh -huh. and he said, your people will be enslaved for 400 years. years and not know yep. that they are enslaved. Yep. That's what I feel like what's going on now. Yep. So like, modern day slavery, that's all it. type of shit. I feel like yep. that's what's going on. Exactly what's going on. Yeah. We in Egypt again. What, 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 what chapter, what part was that? That's in Genesis. Genesis, the 16th chapter. Yeah. But that's like just an idea of what he was actually talking about. But I feel like it's come. It's it's, it's true. That it's, is it's, true. It's come to light. That is true. We the Hebrew Israelites. You can just look at our appearance, how we do things, the food we choose, our style of talk, everything about us, and it's different. It's different. Like we see things for what it is. We didn't used to know this at a point. That's how it's spiritual. The Lord will. When you open your eyes, it's hard to unsee these things. Y'all should never, you probably, if, if left up to his mercy, you probably never look at that the same at this point, after this. So he didn't, the lies is being taught is that we black, Mexican, Latino, we from Africa, we was monkeys on trees. You know, the I Bible for everybody, I'm God love I'm everybody, that's a lie. God don't, that's another okay. lie. I ain't gonna say it. I'm not in deep with the, the Lord himself, but I know what I need to know. No. If y'all don't love me, tell you this. If y'all don't repent, you get ready to die. Because Christ, he, he coming back. He not playing no games. He coming back to save and kill. Because he bring his, his mission is to bring true life on earth. There's people that's going to basically uh, buck up to that. Now, how do you, so how can you successfully bring this, this, this thing? You're going to get rid of people. Period. So, the women that don't repent, going to die. The so-called men that don't repent, going to die. That's why we do this, because we know what's on the line and we see it. And we get pushed back. They actually block our channels. We used to go viral on YouTube. They block our channels. You know, out here breaks and pushing color. It's not, and then it's not just going to be. It's just for us, God, for only on us. No, we're here to tell you it's for you first. You got to get right. We was, we was born and created to be the light of the earth. Not just on, ooh, everybody with basketball and, you know, being smart and no. So we actually down. here to show people what life to is. God has created us to live through us. You see? How can he do that with you thinking you black? You smoking. Women being out of order, trying to live in a man's stead. You can't do that. We're just talking about that. You
can't do that, man. And I understand you got to do what you got to do, but you got to ultimately know what's true. But I mean, this ground is not his ground. So it's opportunity for all negative true. and bad energy. True. You just got to be one of the smart ones who know. And it's bigger than knowing because everybody knows something. The number one knowledge is you got to know this book. Because this is the only thing playing out on earth right now. No other book does what this book does. Once again, I'm not I'm not a person that's everyday reader, but I know what I know because I research myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do my little dibble dabs. I got yeah. something. Yeah. Be safe, okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Be careful. Be safe.